Day 2, Orison to Roncevalles. Most people do what we did on day one and day two on the first day. Since those two days are the physically most challenging and we knew we would also have some remnant jet lag, we opted to split it into two days. It allowed us to take it a little slower and enjoy the views. The day started out with a light rain and it continued all day. We had our backpack covers, ponchos, and gloves, so we were prepared. It was cool, but as long as we kept moving, we were fine. The rain and fog did hinder some of the views, but it was still an amazing walk. It was fun to see the sheep, horses, and goats just wandering the countryside. There were a few colts who were incredibly adorable, and we had to stop to watch them. In Roncevalle, we stayed in an old monastery. They've redone it so everything is very modern. In just two days, we've learned to appreciate a hot shower. If only it would keep running without having to push a button. It's all, or mostly, downhill from here, literally. Lessons learned. One, before heading out for the next place, always double check in the bathroom and under the beds for any belongings. Christy's down from three to two pairs of underwear. Ugh. Two, we both brought flip-flops with the thong. In hindsight, flip-flops without the thong would have been better. On days like today, when you know you're done with your walk, but it's cold and rainy, it's nice to get out of the hiking shoes and just bum around in socks and flip-flops. Very difficult to do when there's a toe post in the way. Buen Camino.